children happy to meet you at your homes once again today we have mathematics on geometry and measurement but today we are going to talk about angles by the end of the lesson you should be able to spot out angles on plain shapes and also give their names talking about angles we will meet new words in the course of our lesson. Let's understand them. Angle. Angle. What does it mean? It is a figure formed by two or more straight lines meeting at a point. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. It is where a vertical line meets the plane of a horizontal line. In our previous lesson, we talked about line segments. Yes, what are they? What are line segments? We tried. Line segments are lines put together or divided into segments with two or more points. Okay, what then is angle? How do we get our angle from line segments? For example, I'm going to draw line segment AB. segment A B. Do I have an angle? No. You remember when we were treating our keywords, we said angle is the point where two or more lines meet. So I'm going to draw another line to get an angle. line segment B, C. Do I have an angle now? Not at all. So we have to find a way to put these two lines together or to help it meet at a point. So let's try and do that. Yes. Where did they meet? At this point, which is B. So I have my angle here. Let's have another angle by joining the top lines. Good. Where are my angles? We have one angle at A, we have the other at C. But what shape do I have on the board now? A triangle. So how many angles do we have in this triangle? Let's count. One, two, three. Three angles. Three angles. Let us see more examples of angles in the other shapes. Now I have other examples of 2D shapes on the board. Let's identify them. Rectangle, good. Square. Circle. Let's try and identify the angles rectangle. The line segments are meeting at four points, isn't it? Good. One, two, three, four. So how many angles are we going to have? Four. Very 
very good. meet at a point. This and that one also meet here. We have this line and the top line meeting at a point. And the last angle, this line and the down one also meet here. So I have four angles in the square. Now, let us look at the circle, which is quite different from the other shapes. To draw a circle, you start from a point and you go around to meet at the same point. So you have your circle. But I can have an angle in my circle. So I'm going to draw a straight line to segment it into two. Now, where are the angles? When you take this side, the curved line meets at a point on the straight line. So you are going to have an angle over there. This side too, you have an angle, the curved line from here, meeting at a point on the straight line. You come down, we have the curved line, meeting at this point too. And the last angle, it's also here. So, we have been able to identify the angles in some of our clay shapes. Children, I hope you can now identify angles in plain shapes. Now that you are at home, pick your daughters and draw any shape of your choice and indicate the angles in them. Till I come your way another time, stay safe and be good. Bye-bye.